So at special request, I'm going to make a coin pickup. I'm going to go to part, hit cylinder, and the cylinder, I'm going to make it yellow. I'm going to make it metal for the material. Um, what else am I going to do to it? Change the size. Change the size like 0.2, 2, and 2. Pick it up off the ground a little. I'm going to rename it. Let me rename it to coin. And let's see, we got, let's anchor it and turn can collide off. All right, so now let's make it rotate in the air. Let's put a little script on here. Let's say rotate. And I'll say local, um, and that's coin equals script parent. And I'll do a while loop. So while true, do coin dot orientation will equal coin dot orientation plus a vector three new, and I'm gonna increase it by 10 degrees on the y axis right here then i'll just put a weight let's see what we have here i'll make that a little bigger so you can see it let's go into our world i'll do play here yeah it's not bad Got a little rotating coin let's make it so that it's treasure let's put a treasure script on it so go to the coin hit the plus sign then treasure. All right, I spell treasure right. So this is going to be a touched event. So I'll say local coin script parent local function on touch other part. We're hoping that's us or a player, but we got to check. So we're going to say local hume other part parent find first child. I always hit that capital U. It's a humanoid. Well, it's not a ball or something that hits it. We'll say low, if hume, then let's see if we can get a player from that. So local player, um, game players, get player from character. So if this is a humanoid, we're going to assume that is a character. It's probably a correct assumption. And let me make this a little smaller so you can see. But we have to check. We have to make sure that a player came back. Make sure it's not nil. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's make this disappear for a while and then reappear. So I'm going to put a can touch debounce in here. So I'll say can touch. That way, if it's a player and can touch is true, which it'll start out as true, then we're going to say can touch equals false. Update leaderboard. We'll make it invisible. Coin transparency equals one. We'll wait. How long should we wait? Let's wait a random period of time. Let's go local RND equals random new. I won't put a seed value in. I'll just say rand next integer, and we'll go between five and five and ten seconds. Then we'll make the coin reappear. Transparency equals zero and we'll say can touch is now true so they can touch it again cool all right well, what we got to do is register our coins touched event whoops that's transparency touched event connect it to on touch all right so now it should disappear for an indeterminate period of time Let's actually make this shorter for now because we're just testing. Let's make it between one and five seconds. One and five seconds. There we go. Play from here. And boom, it disappears. 
That should come back, and there it is. And then when you have a whole bunch of these, and they're all reappearing at different times, that'll make it a little more interesting. Let's go ahead and get a leaderboard so we can update our leaderboard. Let's go to server script service, script, leaderboard. And a lot of you guys have already done these, so if you have one, just cut and paste. Local function, um, add board, and we'll pass a player in with that. Say local board instance new folder or model. Player will be the parent. The board's name will be leader stats local call it money instance new int value and the board will be the parent so money name will equal money because you can give it like dollars or something that's fine game player so now when a player enters the game we need to um, add the leaderboard. So we have a player added event. We're gonna connect that to the add board function. So every time a player comes in, they'll get the leaderboard. And then we'll go back to treasure. And we can say local money equals player dot leader stats dot money. So you have to spell this right here the same as this right there. So if you change those, if you change this value, you have to change it in both spots. All right, so once we have our money, we'll say money value equals money dot value, I'm sorry, I'll lose it here, plus 10. Cool, let's see if we updates our leaderboard. Yeah, there you go. I'll come back. Should add a sound to it. Let's add a sound to it. Let's go to our toolbox. And I made this, I did a search for audio pickup. And I think I liked item pickup right here. There we go. That's pretty good. There's a coin pickup. Ooh, that's better. I am going to copy the asset URI. I'll go to my student treasure make a sound local sound equals instance new sound we'll parent it to the workspace and then we need a, we need to get our sound ID uh, sound dot sound ID will work I'll just go ahead and put that in there I did that copy asset URI and then I just pasted it right there so just go and go to your pickup and copy your asset URI. Now, when you do your coin pickup, anywhere in here, right here is fine. Just do sound play. Let's go back, play it. Sweet. All right, let's make a few of them. Let's actually change our our wait time though between say two seconds and 20 seconds all right and then we'll add a bunch of these coins do a control D control D control D there we go come on in here We should actually start um, the rotation randomly too. That's pretty good. So they'll start popping back in. Not necessarily in order. Yeah, there we go. Well, hopefully this is what you guys wanted and let me know if you have any questions.